Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Warzone video on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys some settings that's gonna help you guys become much, much better. Not just my settings, but settings you guys can use whether you're a low sense, medium sense, or a high sense player. This is gonna help find the perfect sensitivity for you, specifically for, uh, you know, controller players. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this kind of videos, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and post notifications so you guys don't miss any more videos like this on the channel. And with that being said, let's go straight into the settings. All right, guys, now when it comes to sensitivity, you wanna first figure out what kind of sensitivity player you are if you're a low sense a high sense a medium sense you know somewhere in the middle that is really really uh you know important because it actually lets you know what you want to do in the game i know a lot of yy players that play on low sense i know a lot of yy players that play on high sense you know they have really good movement and they're able to still yy and still able to outmaneuver multiple teams or multiple players regardless so i'm just going to let you guys know right now it does not matter what sensitivity you guys are on obviously you don't want to go for super low because you're going to have a very slow reaction time but, um, you know, playing anywhere around low to high, like you guys can always beam. It doesn't matter. What really, you know, distincts a good player is their game sense, their positioning, and their movement and aim. But sensitivity does not play a huge role in that, but it is important for certain things. For example, if I was to play on 2020, like I do now, uh, it would take a very short amount of time for me to turn around uh, if someone does challenge me from my back. I have multiple times where I am able to just snap onto somebody that I didn't even know was there initially because of how fast I can turn around. So 2020 does have its benefits there, but also you lose benefits when it comes to your accuracy at long range. Uh, you can overpeak sometimes when you're trying to snap onto someone. You can underpeak sometimes. It's a lot of, you know, pros and cons to it. So you want to keep that in mind when you are selecting your perfect sensitivity. Another thing, guys, keep in mind that uh, ADS sensitivity multiplayer does play a really big role in your vertical and horizontal stick sensitivity. Uh, you know, ADS multiplayer will actually affect that because it's going to make it faster or slower, obviously, depending on which direction you go. Go left is going to be slower. You go right is going to be higher. So keep that in mind when you are selecting your perfect sensitivity because your ADS does play a really big role in that. Even if you're not ADS, even if you're just standing there looking around with the gun on your hip it's still going to make things faster so keep that in mind anyway guys if you guys are starting off as a low sensitivity player here's my best tips for you guys I highly recommend you guys play somewhere on the range of six to nine guys. Those are some great sensitivities. You can have a lot of speed as well as accuracy. Six is kind of playing it short. You're pretty low right there. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's gonna be really hard for you to react to close range situations. You know, if someone pops a stem and breaks your camera, it's gonna be really, really hard for you to regain, but you will have really, really good aim at, you know, long range fights or medium range fights. But your close range game is going to take some work. It's gonna take some time for you to get used to that. I'm not gonna lie. But once you get used to it, you can be an absolute demon okay an absolute demon on six seven eight or nine so if you guys are you know willing to put in the work towards you know learning your close range game but actually excel like exponentially in your long range games or medium range you know gunfights i highly recommend you guys try out either six seven eight or nine now do keep in mind you know on the six and seven movement's not going to be that good i mean you can have really good movement don't get me wrong you can have like phenomenal movement but when you first start out it's going to be kind of hard for you to catch up but don't worry if you guys practice a lot trust me you guys are going to get it down and eventually you guys are going to start frying on it all right guys so moving on to the more medium like in the middle between fast and slow uh i usually call that around the 10 to around 14 ish uh i guess 13 ish i guess you could say uh these are like the medium or middle uh sensitivities which are really really good as well this gives you a really good balance of of, you know range or accuracy at range as well as really good movement your reaction time is obviously going to be much much better than playing on something like six or seven or even eight but at the same time you can still you know it's not too fast to where you can still beam at long range so honestly if you are a newer player i do kind of recommend you guys playing something like nine ten or eleven those are really good ones like it has really good balance it's really easy to get used to as well uh it doesn't feel too fast when you're starting out new and if you guys you know if you guys wanted to jump from seven to eleven i don't think that would be too much of a bad call obviously jump somewhere from seven like to 20 or seven to like 16 that's a big jump from but you know 11 it's pretty manageable it's pretty easy to get used to and if you guys put in enough time to practice it it won't take that long trust me you guys probably get it down in like three four days it depends on how long you play or how much you play every day you play like an hour a day then it probably take you like a week but if you guys play like two three maybe four hours a day then it's gonna probably take you like a couple of days not gonna lie but uh yeah i do recommend you guys switch to that 11 11 is really really good for a medium sense but keep in mind all of these like even 10 10 is really good you know 12 12 and 13 13 is really good as well i actually played in 12 12 for a long time and uh, i dropped lots of 30s on this so i do recommend 12 12 if you guys are trying to find a nice middle ground but yeah guys these are really really good if you guys are trying to do that and then of course for the higher sensitivity uh you know 14 i i'm not gonna lie guys if you guys are trying to improve with your aim in your movement 
I do not recommend going anywhere above 16, okay? 16 is just more than enough speed to have really good aim and still have really, really good, like, freaking movement. You're going to be moving like a madman. They're not going to be able to track you, but... I mean, 17, 18, 19, and 20 are really good, but that's when it starts to teeter-totter. You start getting more uh, reaction time, but your aim and your accuracy starts to drop a lot if you are not practicing or playing every day. If you do not play the game every day and you don't play that consistently, I do not recommend ever touching anything around, you know, above 16. But if you guys do play a lot and you guys think you can get really good at it, then hey, you know, go for it. Go for 2020. I do recommend it. I actually play in 2020 right now and I'm still, you know, jumping 20s and 30s. So I do recommend if you guys want to, uh, you know, play consistently and get better at 2020, it's really, really good because you're going to have an amazing okay amazing reaction time somebody shoots in your back you can be able to turn around instantly and start beaming them no matter where they are and i'm not gonna lie when you get like a twitch you know a twitch streamer point of view from it it looks pretty crazy you just instantly snap on their head it's really really crazy you can like win a lot of situations that you would not be able to win if you were playing on something low like 7 7 or 8 8 so i do recommend if you guys want to do that go for it but if not then i do recommend staying somewhere around you know 14 you know 16 maybe even 17 you know it wouldn't hurt that much but 20 is pretty excessive and i only recommend it for those of you that play the game a lot but yeah guys that's basically all i have for you guys on finding your perfect sensitivity hopefully all these tips help you guys out uh and i do make settings videos all the time so if you guys want different settings videos then check those videos out for sure i'm always trying new settings out and the gameplays after those are obviously me using those settings so if you guys want to see how it feels how it looks how fast i am how slow i am how's my aim then you guys can see all of those in those videos but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and post notifications. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and as always.